and CrossFit Heath. Um, so today, uh, for our Olympic weightlifting session, uh, I'm going to change the state to the 29th. Um, we are going to be going through four movements. Um, we've got snatch, clean and jerk, back squat, and some stiff legged deadlifts to end. Um, so my last lifting session was yesterday, which is Friday, and I'm going to give myself um, today, Saturday, to rest. And so I'm going to do this session on Sunday. Um, so on snatch, or for a warm up, we're going to start. We're going to do another minute of squat therapy. Uh, I'm going to go through the Bergener uh, barbell warm up, <clears throat> and then we should be ready to go. Um, on snatch, we're going to keep it. Uh, we're going to start pretty light. We're going to do two sets at 60%, two at 70, and um, two at 80, or two reps, I'm sorry, so it's three sets there. So one set of two, another set of two, another set of two, and then we're gonna do a heavy single. So that heavy single is gonna be based on how I'm feeling tomorrow, uh, and then kind of the same thing for clean and jerk. Uh, we're gonna start at 60%, go up 70, 80, and then a heavy single. And then if you notice this, these numbers here, the two plus one, that means that's uh, two cleans and then on the second clean when I sand it up I'm gonna do my jerk so squat clean uh, drop the bar squat clean stand it up and jerk again same thing here squat clean drop the bar squat clean and jerk uh, and then on when I get finished with these three sets I'm gonna do a, a heavy single that's just one clean and jerk uh, so I don't have to do the two cleans there and then on back squat um, we're going to go 75% of my one rep max, um, and then, or try to shoot for that number, uh, three sets of five, and then end on three sets of five stiff legged deadlifts. And that's going to be, um, as far as the weight on that, that's just going to be by touch. I'm going to see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Uh, and I can increase weight across those five sets if I want, or I can keep it static. So, um, this week we've done a lot of snatch, uh, but for today's session, we're going to combine snatch with clean and jerk. We're going to work up to some heavy singles. Um, I won't talk much about the snatch since we've been working on that, but I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how to drill a clean and jerk in your warm up. Um, and then the rest of our workout will be we've got back squat, three sets of five. Um, you're going to go set, stay at 75%, and then stiff legged deadlifts, you're going to do three sets of five, um, and that's going to be athlete's choice on weight. Um, we've done this before in the gym. Uh, for guys, I would recommend staying around like 135, somewhere around like your, um, probably your 50% of your clean and jerk max on that, um, and really no heavier. <clears throat> and then um, ladies, somewhere around uh, 95 uh, would probably be good, but just feel, um, just basically decide how your body feels on that. Uh, we want to make sure that we're uh, able to keep proper form uh, throughout that exercise. So, for uh, our warm up for this particular session, I do want you to spend a minute in squat therapy again. And again, that's just dropping down into an air squat and holding for a minute. You can use the rig or not for assistance. Um, I want you to warm up your snatch with the, the variation for Bergener um, that we did uh, during last session. Uh, again, five sets on that. And then let's talk a little bit about your clean and jerk. So, um, like I said, it, to work the squat clean, we need to get really good at that med ball clean first of getting to extension, dropping into a squat, and standing it up. Now, to put that together with a jerk, once you stand up the bar, you're going to be jumping underneath the bar, okay? But to do that efficiently, we need to drill a little bit. So here's what I like to do. You can do this with a barbell, with a PVC pipe, with a broomstick. Um, but essentially, you're going to get into your split jerk stance. And then we're going to drill a couple of presses and work on um, getting a feel for pushing ourselves underneath the bar from our split. So. In order to get your split jerk stance, just reposition here so you can see. In order to get your split jerk stance, you're going to make an X with your feet, right? Now, your front foot is going to be um, the foot that you would put forward if you were about to sprint. So if I if I drew a line and I said you're going to step up to that line and run as fast as you can, 
When you step up to that line, however you stand and get ready to run naturally, see my left leg went naturally first, that's gonna be my lead leg. Your lead leg is going to stay that way um, forever. You don't ever wanna change. Okay, so do what feels natural. Now, from my, if I've stood up a clean, okay, and I'm ready to do my jerk, um, like I said, I'm gonna drive that bar off of my body and then make an X with my feet. My front leg, my lead leg is going up, and my back leg is going back and out. Okay, and we talked a little bit about the split jerk stance, but essentially you want a, um, a fairly wide base. You want to be able to balance. Your lead leg knee should be behind your toe. Your back knee should be bent so that it can um, bear weight. And your back heel should be turned outward. Okay, now when I get ready to recover, I'm going to step front foot, back foot, and get back to the place I started. Now, from that position, from your split jerk position, okay, so right here, I want you to work through five sets of five strict press, okay, five push press, that's a dip and drive, dip and drive, and then five push jerk, that's dip, drive, drop, and stand, okay? So again, for that push jerk, I'm dipping and I'm driving my body underneath and I am pressing up, okay? And then recover. So that's five reps or five sets of 15 reps. I know that's a lot of reps, but I want you to really drill um, if you're struggling with that push jerk. Start with a PVC pipe or a broomstick and then move on up in the later sets to an empty barbell. By the time you get to your clean and jerks, you'll feel really good about driving your body underneath the bar. After. Okay, so for those of you who need to drill the squat clean, I mentioned the med ball clean, so I'm just going to go over that real quick. So if you have a med medicine ball at home, um, what you want to do is take the laces, face them forward, and what you're going to do is try to keep those laces facing forward all the way through the movement. Um, so think of the med ball as having a hole in the top filled with water and you want to make sure that you can go through the entire med ball clean progression without spilling the water on yourself. So let me uh, demonstrate the wrong way to do it. So if you were to get tall but then turn the ball here. So what's that, what that's doing is mimicking an uh, uh, early arm bend. Um, we want to keep those arms straight through the clean. I can see that if it, there was water in the med ball, I'd be dumping it on myself. So I'm gonna, um, what I'm gonna do on this med ball clean is the same thing for a barbell clean. I'm gonna get tall, arm straight, full extension, jump underneath the ball into my front rack position and stand. Okay, so good setup. Get tall, jump underneath, and stand. And then notice the laces are still facing forward. One more time. Good setup. Drop underneath and stand. Okay, so that's going to help you to drill um, dropping into a squat position under a load without getting under the barbell to shift.